Tonight, the Oxford vaccine, a leading COVID vaccine candidate, is in advanced trials. And drug maker AstraZeneca says it will be able to produce 3 billion doses. CBS's Charlie Daggett got exclusive access inside the lab that is working to make the company's plans a reality in our series, Racing to a Cure. That could be the very solution to the pandemic the world is waiting for. Even before the final phase of testing and government approval, this is a process development lab. The vaccine is on a massive manufacturing drive. In that particular process, you will be making millions of, of vaccines. Millions. Of, millions of vaccines. In that one run. Absolutely. The challenge, how to scale up from a small vial of vaccine to billions of doses fast. Is, Dr. Clive Glover is director of strategy for Paul Corporation. That process would generally be measured in years and, you know, Five years is not unusual. We were able to design the process, get the equipment into uh, one of our manufacturing partners and run the initial process within eight weeks. Eight weeks? Yeah. So it was a, uh, it was a sprint, <laughs> to say the least. That sprint is now a relay race, and this biotech lab on the south coast of England has the baton. The process starts with a small batch of vaccine. We grow the cells up within this particular bioreactor. And then we use some starter version of the vaccine. It infects the cells that are growing inside here and then allows the vaccine to, to, to actually make more of the vaccine itself. The rest is a complex filtering process that screens out impurities until you've got a bag full of vaccines ready for the vials and eventually your arm. This system will be used by manufacturers of the Oxford vaccine around the world all waiting for the go-ahead to start rolling out in record time. Charlie Daggett, CBS News, Portsmouth, England.